Okay, so I'm gonna leave this, and we'll see if we can get a heal off of it. I wonder if that's any good. It is really hard to time those. My God. Maybe I just need to try to create more distance than I am. Yeah, see, we do get a heal off of it. so hard, man. This is uh, attempt number five, I think. Definitely leaving this up for an extra heal. Seems to be good. Oh man, this came out way faster. Oh no. I'm just going to try this one really cautious. Oh, that sucked. Maybe I can abuse this more. I don't know how often she'll heal me, but... If she heals me every time I'm low... Man, if we get fucked one time there, it's pretty tough. Okay, so this is attempt number seven. We're going to leave this for a heal.
the most I've had success with is uh is just being caught like very cautious. gonna be rough. I'm leaving this up for a heal. These, these balls are unpredictable because sometimes they hit themselves back into each other. And sometimes they hit him or her or it. Two hands up. Let's go. gonna heal. Damn it. This is pretty close. Seven tries, though. But still, we did get him. Maybe with a little help from that girl there, but you know what? Fine. Okay, now we know. I didn't know what she was asking me for. Now we know. I don't feel bad about it. It was pretty good. I think. Holy sh... Ooh, okay. Hello? This is another dream. In the name of the great ordeal, and the sons of the miracle. When you humbled yourself before my most holy body, you have been granted the presence of my golden visage, custodian of one of the three sorrows of the soul in penance. So... Right, okay. Three sorrows of the soul and penance. has chosen me amongst all the peers, just as it chose you to walk on this sacred sea. Because remember there was like, we had to do three 
things. Probably three bosses, I'm guessing. Compunction. Return now from the dream. Holy wound of compunction. Damn, dude. Golden thimble filled with burning oil. Oh, that's what's for the guy in the, um... <laughs> right. Golden thimble filled with burning oil. Mark left by the golden visage that reveals the cleanliness of compunction in the soul of the penitent one. The door to the mother will open the three wounds will be joined together. The mother would suffer a crack. The enclosure would end up broken and the forbidden would be profaned. Thimble adorned with gold carrying an inscription that reads only gold only cold gold can carry the redeeming oil. Number one, a young villager named Oria had such a beautiful and pious face that even as a child, statue sculptures took her as a model for their creations. Her face became so recognizable that little by little, people took her as the living, breathing image of divinity until it reached a point where they ended up taking out taking her out on procession and even replacing their own images. Such was the fervor around her that she could not bear to be mistaken with the divinity and burned her face with boiling oil to give her pious beauty to God and took up the habits of a convent. So that's what's for the guy that was on the tree when we entered. Oh, you're new. Welcome. You have carried out the uh, yeah, three humiliations. humiliations that's what they're parents. called. You have been allowed to behold the visage of compunction. You have yet to prostrate before two last holy visages. Sorry for me. Okay, thank you. So that takes us down there. Hello. Virtue of mea culpa hath ascended. Oh, okay. There we go. So now we're level two. This is so that we can use that ranged attack. Sacred, sacred thrush there. Pendant one performs an upward slash as a combo finisher. Eh. I don't know. To get to this one, we need to unlock this. It's just a better lunge, right? I'm going to grab this one. And... That's 7,000. Let's go ahead and grab the Sacred Thrust. Hold X while dodging. We'll try it. Oh... I like that. Very cool. 1337 for tears. Pretty nice. <laughs> First time we've gotten to use that bad boy right there. Like that. Just got to remember that we have these new moves. Oh, I'm down here. I was like, where's my guy? I couldn't see him at all. I'm trying to get back to the, um... Oh, that's so sick. Okay, that uses a little bit of fervor. And I can also throw it while I'm in the air. Oh, that's very nice. Well, that'll definitely unlock some of the uh, cherub things. But it's also going to help me just to get rid of some stuff if there's a bunch that we're dealing with, you know? Okay, so look. I think we need to head back in this direction. And explore maybe down in here? Like there's a dropping point here, maybe? Here, we'll take the shortcut back. I have to go down one more. Oh, and it slices everything! 
Okay, that's actually... Okay, now I have a good use of my fervor. Now I have a good use of my fervor. Is this still locked? Yes. So we're going to take this down so that we can head off into that right side area. Um, there was still that candle that I'm thinking about that's in the top left. I don't know what that would do, though. Oh, look, there's bodies everywhere. What are those little ones that seem to hide up in the ceilings amongst the ornaments of the altars? When I call them, they do not appear to pay any, me any mind. Covered in ribbons that give the impression of fluttering in an invisible, imperceptible, constant wind. At times I hear them cry, and at times I hear them laugh. What are you, O oh creatures of divine grace? Okay, I'm going to try to get us to that nearest Kriot Zoo. Okay, this is the first time I've really been able to practice this this parrying. So that auto retaliation. Yeah, okay, so that's blocked. We can't throw anything through there. I have to hit the the parry. Where is it? I have to hit the parry again or the attack again when it lands. Press RB to parry. During a counter, press the X button in the moment of impact to perform a retribution, increasing the force of the blow and stunning some enemies. I don't know if I pulled it off in that first one there, but... See, like, is that... Am I doing that right? I can't tell. Maybe these guys are too weak and I'm just killing them straight up. Because I'm stunning these guys pretty consistently right now, so maybe I'm doing it correctly. It's tough to say. Okay, so if we... We have been here, but we haven't gone very far on this side. That's so sick. This is exactly like what we saw guarding that other tree section. Strange. Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh, no! That's a setback and a half right there. That is a setback and a half. Okay. So, lesson is, we need to hit a pre at due. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I guess I can hit this one, but that doesn't really save me any time. We're, we're super close to another one there. I'll maybe... Hmm, maybe I'll just hit this one. In the town, so we don't have to do this travel again if we die there. So not many things that instantly kill us. Just those spike pits, it seems.
So we'll hit the one back in uh, Albero here. Just so that if we die. We're good. I wonder, do I have anything that can be blessed? I don't think we picked up anything new. Well... We have to go back to the tree guy. And I think it's actually over here, isn't it? Graveyard of the Peaks. Oh, no. It's actually this one. That's where we need to be. Okay. Well, my bad. We do have to return to that guy and see what he has to say. With this oil. I still have no idea how we would get down there. Okay, what are you selling? What I am offering, and may my torn bridal ribbon. One of the three remains of an unfinished ceremony. The wounds inflicted by a broken oath rarely find healing. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this up. We already bought that one. Yes. And may I dot? This one's five thousand. Increasing the defenses. That's. It seems like it's gonna be super solid though. If we ever do buy that. 5,000. We'll have to remember that. And then I have to remember where the shop is, which well, let's be honest, I won't. And this is a quest item. Used during marriage ceremonies. One of the three remains of an unfinished ceremony. So maybe we find the other two pieces somewhere? It shouldn't be too bad getting back here. Whoa, what the? Whoa. I didn't know they could jump like that. Huh. We have not been down here. Hold on. Oh, these frickin' things. Dude! That was close. Be nice if that uh, healing animation was faster. Oh, this is going to be rough. Damn. You know what? Let's throw on this thing again. Instead of the fervor thing, we're going to go with the vital essence. Nice. Ah! Come on! Jesus Christ. You're killing me, Smalls. It's a Sandlot reference, in case anybody's wondering.
Okay. So, we're going to go back and get that thing. We will not fail. Never fail twice in a row. Ever. Oh, I can't slide twice. You guys are making me very angry. I wonder why sometimes... These guys are completely immune. I still don't fully understand this enemy, it seems. Remains of Tentudia's hair. Remains of the thorn hairs of the novice Tentudia that were isolated from the crest so she could not receive a holy burial. Tentudia spent several years in the nunnery, and as she grew up, it became harder and harder to hide her hair. It wouldn't stop twisting and growing thorns, and the blood from the wounds it's caused, it caused her did not take long to stain her pure white habit. The nuns, upon realizing, were frightened by it and soon began considering her cursed and a heretic, just as the parents of the girl who f they had feared would happen. Is that a thing that can be blessed? I wonder. Okay, at least this is a dead end. Oh, you're not dead yet? All right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yikes. Jesus. They just went ham there. You know, this is this is quite the track right now. Just saying. Quite the track. But now we are not going to explore that new area, so my thing is is kind of as long as we can find something new on every trip and we're not just beating ourselves beating our heads against the wall. That's good for me. Okay. See, I still can't hit that. On these cliffs located at the foot of a snowy abyss, the roots of a secret await those who are patient. 
located at the foot of a snowy abyss. Secret to those who are patient. Weird. Okay, here's the person we were looking for. Yes, burning oil. I feel the boiling oil entering my frigid veins. I can still answer the call. No answer. What? What does it mean? I also don't know if it's like... I don't know if we found those other things already. It does seem that there's something on the left side of this area. Ah, hello. Frozen olive. Summer fruit trapped in an endless winter, born from an olive tree, turned into a prison. Its frosted oils bo bolster the wearer's defenses when their strength is nearly exhausted. Okay. So it's the same as uh, this one. No, where is it? The one that makes us stronger when we're weak. Flames, destroying an object. Toxins, health. Not sure what this one's doing. I thought we had a thing where if we were lower, we would like attack more or something. Maybe I misread something. Oh, yeah, here. Attack damage is increased when the pendant to one is closer to death. So, I mean, okay. Whoa, what is this? Dried flowers bathed in tears? Okay. So had we found this first, we may have been hinted at what this was. What? Whoa. <laughs> this is so trippy, man. There's so much weird stuff that's happening. Seta Dolorosa. Another prayer. The pain of the flesh embodied the definitive penance, total detachment of self and firm pursuit of virtue. The sorrowful and desperate chant overflows with conviction. And those who intone it will be rewarded with vital energy for every hit they land on their enemies? Yes. So it's like a lifesteal. Let me grieve, let me suffer, for one wound on me is one less on you. Let me bleed, let me feel, for a cut on me is a caress for you. Let me cry, let me moan, as for all my tears are only for me. So, oh, look at the look at the fervor bar. How significant that is. Wait, what the? I don't know where we are right now. We're in a new area. I guess we should check below us here. Whoa. Oh, there were two. Whoa.
Okay, so where... There's stuff above us still. I see. I see. I see. So we need to slide from that red patch up there. Which means I gotta climb this all again. It's interesting how the order in which we would have done things would have a pretty significant impact on things that we may or may not find. Like this, we would not be able to slide under here, right? Damn it. Oh, really? There's even... There's this above us, which... Makes me curious. Oh. Nice. The Cockix of Daniel the Possessed. It said that Daniel appeared inside a castle. He cried that he had been possessed by a shadow as he slept and also claimed to have maintained carnal relations with underground creatures. Probably deserved to die with those claims. Just kidding. It's terrible. Oh! <laughs> I thought this was just an exit. Well, I mean, and it is. That is literally perfect. Okay, guys, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're going down this direction. Uh, we have our guilt over here from an earlier trek. But now this whole area is, I think, locked down. Uh, there might be something here-ish. And looks like there might be something here. But we're going to go down in this area and see what's happening. So wish me luck. We'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having a good time. Bye for now.